Yeah, so, um, before this video starts, I want to say I recorded this while being sick. Um, so that's why I'm going to sound kind of nasally, so please ignore that. Anyways, uh, enjoy the video. So, if you've stuck around my channel since at least maybe like 2021, you would know that I am a very big fan of Half-Life. I own a hoodie and a very expensive NECA figure of Gordon that I keep next to my container of soul candy and a can of Fago on my shelf. I didn't even know this poor of Half-Life existed until just yesterday when I was looking at eBay listings for Half-Life merch. And at first glance, I thought this might have been like a ROM hack of Half-Life that was ported to the Sega Dreamcast. And with further inspection, it wasn't. It was unreleased. As of filming this video on September 23rd, 2023 at 1.24 p.m., the listing's still up, but I unfortunately can't get it at this time. If the opportunity arises that I can actually get it, I'll definitely try to play it in a video eventually. Anyways, moving on from that, I decided to make this sort of like a history video of sorts, since I've never heard about this or heard anybody else talk about it before. So, let's get to it. Half-Life for the Sega Dreamcast was announced by Sierra on Valentine's Day of 2000 at the Milo Trade Show in Cannes, France. They had stated that Captivation would be handling the Dreamcast technology while Gearbox would create all of the new content, including Half-Life Blue Shift, which was originally supposed to be exclusive to the Sega Dreamcast port of Half-Life. There was also going to be a multiplayer part of the new Half-Life port, and it would also be including uh, Capture the Flag game modes, Team Fortress Classic, Standard Half-Life Deathmatch, a version of Counter-Strike, and one or more of the other popular multiplayer mods. And they would do that by including SegaNet, which was a short-lived internet service which was for the Sega Dreamcast console at the time. Although, later on it was discontinued in July 20th of 2001, only a year after launching in September 7th of 2000. The port was supposed to come out in summer of 2000, but then was postponed several times before Sierra finally pulled the plug on the project only a couple weeks before the game was supposed to be released on June 15th, 2001 which just happened to be a few weeks before the port would be released to the public. Half-Life Blue Shift ended up getting released the same day the project was cancelled, and it was later re-released through Steam on August 24, 2005. A few of the new models were reused in the Half-Life High Definition Pack, and many were slightly modified and presented in higher quality than what was seen in the port. On February 27, 2023, Sega Dreamcast Info tweeted out the release of a new build for Half-Life Dreamcast May 15, 2001 prototype. This is now the most recent DDI DDI available below. for this unreleased game You will also find a Gearbox. testimony from a journalist and one of the devs. Some images were also attached to the tweet. Now the first attachment is of the disc itself dated May 15, 2001. The second being what seems to presumably be the startup screen, which is dated 2000 to 2001, with Sierra Online and Valve's copyrights. And now for the third attachment, there's uh, a list with the Hazard Course, Half-Life itself, and Blue Shift, with Gordon and a very interesting rendition of Barney. And the last attachment, just having some info about the build and the game itself. However, 20 years prior, a late-stage build of the Dreamcast version of Half-Life numbered 1,672 was leaked to the public. That specific build was dated from May 23, 2001, which was only a month prior to the game's cancellation and a few days after the other previous build that I showed off 
Fast forward to August 28, 2018, another build of the Dreamcast version, numbered 1,638, was leaked to the public. It was dated April 20th, 2001, which was a month earlier than the previously two known builds, and it contained a few minor differences. I'm really glad that I found the Sega Dreamcast cancelled port of Half-Life when I did because I've been running out of video ideas and making FUMO videos gets a little old after a while, I'm not gonna lie. But that doesn't mean I'll actually stop uploading FUMO videos, that probably won't be happening anytime soon. However, I do want to focus a little more on commentary. I'm also really sorry my upload schedule has been really like all over the place. I've just been dealing a lot along with just being sick, but I tried to get out this video as soon as I possibly could. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.